<clears throat> All right, we're doing this uh, time and chain on this uh, 2007 uh, Chevy Cobalt. And we're just lining up the uh, timing marks right here. And basically what you want to start off with is the uh, intake sprocket right here. And uh, you're gonna have the, uh, you're gonna notice on the chain, there's a uniquely colored link. This one is kind of black uh, or nitric uh, oxide, whatever, a black color. <sighs> and that's what you want to line up with your intake. Um, you see your INT, that right there is your intake. Right there. And you see that little line right there. So you want to line up that one right there. Um, the next thing you want to go to, well, I'm going to just show you up here how um, on the, this right here is going to be the exhaust. There's a lot of timing mark right there. And there's your uh, chain, your color link right there. Um, <clears throat> so this is going to be at approximately 2 o'clock. This is going to be approximately 10 o'clock. But what you do is you start off right here at this one. Go ahead and get that lined up right there. Then <clears throat> go ahead and, and at the same time also put your um, just hand tighten that bolt. Next thing you're gonna do is come down here <clears throat> to the crank, and <sighs> there's your top dead center key right there at the top. All right. Then you notice over here on the side. Let me get down some more actually. <sighs> See it better down here. You see that dot right there on the outer sprocket. That right there is your actual timing mark, which is uh, see that that dot right there. That dot. You want to line up that link with that dot. That should be at approximately five o'clock. All right. So in order to do that. You're gonna probably have to rotate this counterclockwise a little bit. So this key at the top is actually not gonna be at 12 o'clock. It's gonna be more at one o'clock. See, that's not at 12, that's about one o'clock. Okay, then you're gonna go ahead and put this 10 millimeter bolt in to your chain guide. With that chain guide, you're gonna have to drop in through the top. Then bring it down here, put your 10 in, your 10 millimeter. Um, then come back up here. This is where you, this is where you're gonna drop your uh, chain guide, and right here, just drop it down in here. Then put your 10 millimeter bolt in down there. Then you take your exhaust, your other camshaft sprocket, your exhaust uh, camshaft sprocket. Bring it over here. Go ahead and just put that link right there on that exhaust timing mark. And then bring it over here to your exhaust cam, and you're gonna try to line it up with the notches, your exhaust sprocket, with the notches on the end of the camshaft. So in order to do that, you're gonna have to take your 24 millimeter wrench, and you're gonna have to move, turn it this way, just a little bit until it clicks, until it catches in there. And once it catches, then you go ahead, and then it's already in there. Just push it on there and hand tighten that bolt right there. Once you got that hand tightened, then you're gonna have to, you're gonna want to go ahead and put your tensioner in here. Here's your tensioner. This tensioner needs to be in the uh, in the relaxed state or the uh, however you want to call it. The uh, what is a good word for it? Anyways. You want to have the tensioner uh, in the uh, unreleased position. So when you compress this two millimeters, it's going to pop out. And it's going to put tension on the back of the chain. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Um, if you don't have this in a relaxed state, you're going to have to take, there's a <clears throat> C-clip right here, a little snap ring. Just pop that out. This is going to come out. And what you're going to do is just take this, you're going to mash it down and turn it clockwise with keeping the bottom stationary or you can put the bottom in a vice grip push it down and turn clockwise until it reaches the bottom and keep going clockwise keep turning it clockwise until you reach the very bottom and then it should stay in a compressed state alright then you're gonna have to put your snap ring back in fill it up with a little oil 
this is a 32 millimeter by the way it goes back here in the back and you're gonna see it come down through here I don't know if you can see that but it's coming down right in there and it's hitting the back of the chain right here on the chain guide but you can see it down in here moving a little bit get this light down here oh shit that's a big fucking bug right there I got something for his ass too come on back I got something for you anyway <clears throat> so you go in here get it in there and tighten it up And then you want to set the tension on it, so you're going to stick something down in there and kind of jab that ground. <clears throat> Got like a brass drift right here. Whoa, focus. Alright, so I got like a brass drift. I'm going to stick it down there. Not gonna be good. It's a little too thick. Probably be a good idea to just use a 38 scotch. You got this 3 8 extension right here. Just reach down in there. And there's your chain guide right there, right? There's your tensioner right there. And it's going, it's pushing up against the back of this, but to set the tension, you're going to have to take something and hit it. So you just go right here, and just... Just pop it one time. And you should notice that after doing that, there <clears throat> should be no slack in this chain down here. So <clears throat> you shouldn't be able to move it. Not you know you can't move this tensioner to the left because before I can move it to the left, now it's not moving to the left. So I know that there's tension on this chain tensioner right here on this chain guide. It's not moving anywhere. And you want to make sure all your timing marks are still lined up. I wish they are. <clears throat> Next thing you're gonna do, tighten these two up right here. All right. Once you tighten it, and then you after you tighten those up, I'm gonna recommend rotating this crank down here uh, a good four times, at least two revolutions. You want? I'm gonna do it four, about four, and uh, make sure nothing binds up. And if it doesn't, and then all your timing marks are still in the same place after you know your fourth time, then you know you got it right. So that's how you set the timing marks. You want to get that the crank down there. That link needs to be lined up with the five o'clock position with a little dot down there. So <clears throat> that's what I want you to see. It's not you want that little mark to line up. That link needs to line up with that dot right there. And that's about gonna be about five o'clock. That's how you set the timing on that. <clears throat> 